G'day, g'day, it's another bloody gorgeous day here in Paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand. You're with Thomas, PC Guru, Engines. Now, we've had a look at this over the last couple of weeks and this is to catch up with you guys this is uh, based on the early 20th century diesel engine designs as in a model form by famously Find Hansen of Denmark but also others you'll see linked below Niffy of Germany and Vela and this one is by Shi Yi Zhao It has arrived, the Mark II, or the production version of the small diesel engine made by Xi Zhao. First impressions are really good. The tolerances of things that uh, I want it to be tighter are much, much better. Now it has this little decompression lever. It now has a, uh, a curved wedge. It now has the adjuster for the um, governor. I filled it up with diesel a night ago and I have absolutely no leak which is fantastic because I still can't really get this one to stop leaking. Painting is also better. I'll have a look at the paint work there. This is the paint work there. It's much thicker. I'm happier with that. Yeah there's a, there's a bunch of different things. If you look here we've got washers here we've got um, pressure, you know, pressure bearings. The whole thing is much, much tighter. We're not getting lateral movement on the shaft. Um, talk about tightness. The other one was even was more tight with this when I than I when I first got it. I'm actually happy with this. This is the kind of tightness we should have in an engine that hasn't been run. This kind of, um, you know, that's after a, less than an hour's running. I don't expect this to come sort of the same so really it's ready for me to rip into and give it a go um, there's a little bit of oil around here because I've already slapped oil inside the little end of the conrod and on the piston and in here so I have already been putting some grease and oil on there and I'm going to be pretty carefully looking for loose, loose bits and um, hot bits so this is the very first run a very first run. So, absolutely no, not too much oil coming out. Injectors fixed. This oil down here is from what I've been putting in here. Now this is much more even than it was. I mean that's really nice. That's, that's really nice. Um, I loosened up something down here that I need to tighten up by the look of it, but um, I'll do that. Starting to warm up. Okay, let me just have a play with this. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I'll run it for a bit longer. It's definitely running hot. It's heating up the water and um, and then we'll check everything and run it a couple more times. But look, there's hardly any 
extra oil coming out of that. Unlike the first one with um, the injector that I tried to solder something onto and probably weakened the spring, I haven't used to drink the fuel so fast. This is used about ooh, a quarter, so I'm not going to fill that up yet. And the first one used to splash um, coolant over the top of this. This isn't, but I'll still put my little coolant splash guard there. I've suitably drenched everything with oil, including the big end of the conrod, which I think is possibly the most important. I'm just going to flick up my compression lever. Turn on my uh, flow a bit here. Uh, this is in fast mode because it gives us a little bit more um, heat to start the engine with. Okay. So once it warms up, um, you know, you can see it's fairly, that's the second start ever, and that's not, not that. Okay, let's do that again. warming up a bit. 